you know, being out here is what I what I want to do. I'm a fisherman. I'm a competitor. Um, that that's never going to go away. You know, I think all of us professional fishermen are, are just you know gamblers pretty much. Man, we love to gamble on ourselves. And the competitive side of, with me is just it's there for life. You'll be fine by just like I'm telling you, baby. These things eat at your bones and drive your young mind crazy. That's all I ever want to do. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to have to go get a real job again. You know, this is fun. I love it. You know, it's, you work so hard to get here, you don't want it to go away. You know, it's just you know, something I always ever wanted to do. The only thing I ever wanted to do, and now I'm here. You know, do everything I can to stay here. And this has always been my dream. You know fishing at this level, being able to say you're one of the best in the world. It makes you question that when you have 12 tough years, but you still have to sit back and think, hey, I've qualified to be here, I'm still in the game. There's a lot of guys that don't make it. I mean, there's a lot of guys that fall short financially and fall short with ability, and it, it happens. It happens every year. Um, I'm just trying my damnedest not to be one of those guys. Yeah, we're, we're getting close. Uh, last couple days before practice starts, been kind of crazy. Been working at Tackle Attic for a couple days. Supposed to be at Tackle Attic right now, but Jesse uh, missed his flight, or he didn't miss a flight. His toilet froze in Denver last night on his way to Shreveport. And then a big ice storm hit when they were offloaded from the plane trying to defrost the toilet. Long story short, Jesse had to stay the night in Denver, got on a different plane today, flew to Longview Regional, East Texas Regional, and I left Rayburn yesterday this morning and drove up here and Picked him up, played with Lane for a little bit, saw the wife, put the rest of my crap in the truck, and now we're headed back to Tackle Attic now. Uh, talk to Brian and all everybody at the store, and then uh, cruise over to the camp on Toledo Bend that we're staying at. Logan and Caleb are already there. We're almost, almost ready. The first one's always a disaster, and, uh, and it is but it's a beautiful disaster and we're getting closer to starting. We got, uh, we got the boys back together. We got Lee, Logan, the man Jesse on the camera and uh, it's good to be back on the road. I wish I would have weighed my fish and would have the hell down and caught my fifth one. Oh, yeah, three more. Yep, been excited. You know, it's been a long off season. Uh, done a little deer hunting and hanging out, but, you know, I've been, I've been itching, ready to get back at it, get back with the boys and get the year rolling. A new season's just just full of everything, man. You're uh, mentally preparing for new lakes, you know, mentally preparing for what you're going to do, how you're going to do it equipment, you know, new boat, new electronics, new trolling motors, new batteries, you know, there's just a million variables when you start a new season. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. I'm ready for the season. Um, you know, didn't have the best one last year, so I'm extremely motivated to, to get this one going in the right direction. So that's the main goal is catch some bass and do good. Yeah, go to the yeah, turn right there, come all the way down. Go inside the house, all the way down. I can turn around, I can go ahead first. Yes, yes, plenty room. Made it, somehow. What's up, Dick? How are you? Pretty good, man. What's up? And I drank them all. We got six left for you. Well, you Five, better come four. Oh. What? What? <laughs> I ain't looking at the wind. What's the wind doing? They ain't gonna be doing shit. None. It's swapping out of the north. It's, not, it's swapping out of the south so it can kill the waves. No, the scopers are gonna smash and they're gonna keep chasing that for two days. 
leading up to this event, I mean, of course, it goes without saying, did a ton of homework, you know, what's out there, you know, maybe what's biting, you know, really trying to get along with uh, forward-facing sonar because it could play in this tournament very big. Um, that could be a very, very big contributing factor to winning this event. Trying not to be behind the eight ball on that has probably been the biggest step forward into preparing for the season that I've done. The elephant in the room is forward-facing sonar. Uh, we're, I hate talking about it, but it is what it is, you know, and I want to catch some shallow power fishing, man, but at the same time, you got to be smart. Um, if it doesn't go right, you got to be able to jump out there and compete with those guys. So hopefully I can fish shallow, but man, I'll be prepared to jump out there and, and try to catch them with forward facing too. 172.01. What's that? That's the level I prayed for this lake to get to before we started this tournament. I hate 169 and three foot of water on this lake makes a big difference. So it's going to be a slugfest. People are going to catch them every which way from the north to the bottom. When this lake hits 172, it's just lights out. It's a fun lake to be on. But that's where I wanted it, so it got there. What they do with it in the next five days is up to them. But I kind of hope they pull it down a little bit because I want them to pull, but we'll see. There's a lot in the water. There's everything to fish from butt brush, cypress trees, docks. If it comes up another foot, it'd be picnic tables. But that's a good level to be at on a full moon coming up when March starting. So it's going to be a catch fish. It's going to take 100 pounds to win this tournament. What about you, Logan? You pumped? <clears throat> been a long year. Been a long off season. Ready to get back at it. That's for sure. Excited to get the year going, you know, close, you know, to lead us close, but it's not real close. Um, Had some success here, but should be fun. Should be a good week. I think some big things will happen this week. situation while you're staying shallow it got warm yesterday it wasn't warm on the water it was cold early but it got into the 70s probably yesterday if i had to guess i just drove a couple hours on the water so i stayed cold <laughs> but it's getting hot it's going to be 75 today i'm sure and 75 tomorrow and 75 the next two days probably so i mean there's fish going to the bank with the moon I just don't, when you fish through areas that you know are good and don't get any bites, I think are good, I should say. You know, I'm doing a lot of guesswork here just because I don't know it good. I know little stuff, but you know an area is good, then you get there and it's a week's worth of fishing. And you break it down as much as you can in a couple hours because you want to go somewhere else. You don't get bit, so you just erase it. Somebody's going to go in there and kill them, so... I think if I can just find the right stuff and get a couple bites, I'll fish confident and do good. I just have to have a couple bites to clue me in or I'm going to be spinning around. I just need an area is what I need. Like, give me a couple bites in an area and I'll stay put, and do a few other things and, and be all right. We're here, the first stop of the year, 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series on Toledo Bend, uh, Manny, Louisiana. Not too far from the house, you know. Not a lot of history here, or zero history here pretty much, but man, it's only two and a half hours from my house. Um, pretty much deep east Texas on the border of Louisiana, uh, full of grass, big fish, timber, bushes, you know, offshore, shallow, clean, dirty. It's got everything, it's got giant bass. 
it's big it's massive um you you can't you can't scout the south end and the north end all in one day um it is it's it's healthy right now it's gonna fish really good it's almost the entire length of the state of louisiana i forget how many shoreline acres it there is but it's uh or how many acres this impoundment is but it's a lot um, so I'm just going to pick a section of the lake and, and break down, you know, a, whatever it is, 15 to 20 mile section of the lake uh, the best I can in the time that we have and hope that's the right deal. You know, you never know if one area is going to dominate over the, over the rest, but you can't look at it all. This, uh, this was going to be interesting because, you know, it's, it's a, I think we're a little early as far as for the fish flooding to the bank. There still will be some shallow fish to be caught. It's kind of looking that uh, forward facing sonar is gonna kind of be the deal going into the event. So that kind of, you know, kind of erases a lot of knowledge that I have on the lake, but uh, you know, you're gonna see a lot of guys catch some big bags, you know, doing the floating around, looking for them type of thing. And just hopefully I figure it out. I'd love to catch them shallow. I know the forward facing sonar guys are gonna catch them out there, but man, I, I love power fishing in uh, February. Yeah, what are you seeing out here so far this morning? Nothing, a couple short strikes. Just doing a little scoping, a little hoping. Got to get back to the shallow game pretty quick. I just can't with this warm weather coming. Keep telling myself I'm going to go scope here and there, but it's about to get hot. Welcome to Toledo Bend. Got anything? Uh, one two and a half pounder in Moth Grease Creek. You went in there? Yeah, a bunch of bait, like scoping shit. You couldn't catch no donks? No, so I had a couple follow my shit though. Like behind the bridge or in front of it? Behind it. That's where they're supposed to be. Like exactly. Little guy though. group of them right there. I was reaching down to turn my graph on. My chatterbait was falling when you hit it. It had to have been 75 degrees just trying to big one. There's my sign. Toledo meat. No. I want to get the hell away from this cut. <laughs> know where I'm starting. Now I just need to catch one in here that's big. Thoughts are running wild on what am I going to do? Where am I going to do? You always have ideas and, and, and everything, but they never work. So you got to just mentally prepare yourself to to go through the process uh, as an angler, you know, top to bottom, get a game plan and, and just go through it until you figure something out. So, you know, starting the season off is just big time mental preparation for sure. At a bare minimum, this season to at least make the classic. That's first and foremost, that's the first very achievable, very low goal. Um, the bar is always at winning one, of course. And uh, I guess that third one would just be avoid all bombs. Just you know, just keep it consistent. Don't spin out. Put a bag together every day. Get five in the boat and come back and, and get 10 grand every event. And at the end of the season, I'll be in the classic. So when you qualify for the Elite Series, they give you two years. You get your rookie year and then you get the following year guaranteed. After your second year, you have to stay above the top 70 in points to continue to fish the Elite Series every year on after that. Um, and after, if you're in it for like five years and you get to drop your worst year, but pretty much if you above top 70, you, you good to stay in the Elite Series. And if you're not inside the top 70, then you get judged or cut and, you know, 
then you'll get kicked out of the elites and you would have to go back to the opens, fish all nine of them, qualify through the points again to get back here. We're not gonna do that. No, don't ever wanna do that again. Where are you going to go now? I'm going to bounce around some shit in here and see what happens, and then talk. Uh, Reese probably got you. That ain't happening. I guess go scope the rest of the day. Yeah, I, I tried the scope and shit. Uh, Of course, when we're one of our guys coming. I would say they like that bait better than the, the white one. He was a suicidal bass, so he came flying, was close to me. 304, three pounder. Best live scoper in the world, probably. Top five, Ben Milliken, Jacob Wheeler, me, then Scott Martin, then Caleb Summerall. These fish are acting totally different than anything I've thrown at. Like, I knew he was gonna bite it when it hit the water. Scoping, you catch them all this size, and then you gotta do it all day and you catch two sevens. Or they just like that bait that much more, one of the two. 273. Oh, there he comes. Oh, why'd you stop? Because he's got it. <laughs> he looked bigger. Smaller. Skinny as a rail. He needed that minnow. We're just trying to get a little backup plan. See if we can catch a big one, see how many's in here. See if they're just everywhere. It looks like they're just everywhere. We're gonna go to the back and get back shallow to our real game plan. So, man, this front that hit us, you know, in practice just kind of threw a wrinkle in everything. Um, practice has kind of been tough, to be honest. I've caught a couple good ones. Uh, it was really cold that first morning. And I, and I still caught, you know, a couple four pounders. Smaller, everything's smaller than what I can catch out there scooping. So, so far practice is slow, but you know, getting some clues, um, shallow, and I think this, this front, or this warm front is gonna help us out. You know, we got a warming trend, feel like the fish moving up, coming up on a full moon, like in the February, they should be moving up, you know, um, just don't know if they quite will yet. I mean, they're gonna catch them scoping. They will every tournament. That's just where we live in these days. That was awesome. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. You can put your troll motor down anywhere and catch a bass with this. You know, <laughs> by, by the book, you know, a lot of these big females should be starting to move shallow. So kind of looking forward to that. Now the fish, the fish want to be shallow, but they're just not there yet. I, I really want to catch them solely shallow but my best thing that I have going is suspending fish over drains and 35 foot of water trolling around scoping them and and that's how I was looking like I'm gonna fish this event as much as it pays me to stay there he comes got him So aggressive. Wish they all eat it like that. Bunch of bait. It's bigger than I thought he was gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. Well, 
little bigger big bopper got us one. Mega bopper actually. It'll be close to four. Well our suspicions were right. It's gotten so hot these fish that are up have got off the moving baits or you know like chatter baits, rattle traps, stuff like that. And I think they're bedding up. It just got cold for a couple nights so nobody was thinking spawning. I know the fish are back here. They have to be. Picked up plastics at the second bite. It's a little bit bigger than I thought. That's almost a four pounder. I would have weighed him, but somebody was driving beside me. Oh, shit. <laughs> and we have figured out life. We have figured out life, Jesse. Told you there was gonna be one up there. Oh, a little mini Carolina Reef's gonna murder him, dude. I'm, not, I'm not having to like reel that thing, you know? Big boppy. That one I caught a second ago was way bigger than this one. And this is a three and a half, 352. So that one I was over four, 100%. All right, load her up and we're going. Logan's back. I'm about to fix it. So they're cooking tonight or tomorrow? No. Late or this afternoon after I left Negrit. Got some scoping in the green and shallow in the green. Yeah. I got that good one early. I'm chatterbait in the grass. And I got another one like five pounds scoping in the green. A three, 273. Some bucks just fishing the bank back in the very back. Mm -hmm. Got some bucks in the back of Turner chatting in those canals. Stuck one in there that felt decent and lost it. I don't know if it was a foul hooked or what. And then, uh, Went to Petrona and caught one over four. And then probably, agree? probably now, like in the, in the bushes. Yeah. And like five, four or five more bucks, like little, but they were pissing. And I'd done fish that stretch already and didn't get bit. Yeah. yeah. Just chatty and just chartreuse white cheddar bait. Yeah. I hope they pull up. Well, they fing are. I just don't know where to be. <laughs> That's the problem. You did what? Said so went so seven, two fives, and three. And what? <laughs> Is it? To me? Why the hell do you keep catching them? <laughs> a little more bigger area than I thought. Oh, I had a doggy bag today. Logan, you might as well jump off the cliff. <laughs> you ain't gonna catch bass tomorrow. Yeah, they ain't gonna fish it. Yeah. Mega dogs. All of them. Like a group or you just. It's a group. No shit. I just showed up. It's four o'clock, so I'm hoping it was, I'm praying it wasn't evening crap like they do here. That's a little early though. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Probably just some pre-spawners pulling up. They're all fat as f Start on that bitch. I don't know. You yeah. Started. If you don't, f I will. Too much. Yeah. It will. <laughs> oh shit! I definitely start on that bitch. You can always go back. All to I it. got though. That's all I mean. <laughs> Basically, all I got. The rest is just floating around. Yeah. That's what we was talking about. All our scope, my scoping shit, just you know, one here, one there. Oh, and you can go three hours without a bite yeah. too. <clears throat> Real quick. Three hours, no bite today. Let me introduce you to a brand new bait from Six Sense. It's a Six Sense Conda Finesse Swim Jig. If you, if you, <laughs> what was I supposed to? Yep, the day off's really not a day off. You work more than you do on the regular days. So far, we got up, did a photo shoot with the uh, Waterland Optics. 
Did a photo shoot with Six Sense. Just did our Coast Guard safety vessel check. And now we're going through registration, uh, boat check, wrap check, jersey checks, fishing license, insurance, signing all the paperwork that we didn't do that we're supposed to do in the off season, all that stuff. Um, getting ready then we have a meeting, an actual meeting at 2.30 this afternoon. Got a photo shoot hook for that. And then when we're done, that's when me and Jesse are gonna do a boat tour of the Express X21, get that out for y'all. You know, the biggest change for me this off season, obviously, is this thing right here behind me. Uh, you know, Express, joining that family, uh, running an Express X21, uh, powered by a 250 Yamaha show. Uh, just a great boat. Um, that's, that's my biggest change, joining that fraternity, that family, that Express family, uh, going aluminum. Uh, it, it's, it's a badass boat, it really is. Uh, Y'all are gonna see that this year, we're gonna showcase it. You know, comfortable ride, room, the size, fishability, whole shot, you know, everything in it is just awesome for a fisherman. Uh, all the storage, everything about it. Uh, we'll showcase that to y'all this year. It's an amazing boat. Um, super proud to join the Express family. They've been great to me uh, and can't be happier with the boat. I can't wait to fish this year out of that Express X21. And then we get to do tackle, gas, get a game plan for tomorrow and and uh, go from there. Uh, John Garrett, new rookie and rookies, man. Uh, but it's just a lot. It's a little bit of everything today, but we'll get it all done. How we doing? I'm good. Good to see meet you, you, man. Nice to meet you officially. Yeah. How's it going, man? I'm Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll get out of your shot now. Sorry. No, we're going to use you as much as we can. <laughs> okay, great. I'll probably get like three followers off of you. I'll there you go. Sorry, buddy. Later, man. What you doing? You already registered? I'm done, yeah. Thank you. You're in church service? Yeah, I got my Bible with my name on it. I'm going to need all the help I can get. Got mine in the truck. Yeah, I'm going to be reading this as I run down the lake tomorrow, so. He probably needs to do that, too. I'll, I'll, I'll need it after <laughs> I eat the first wave and my whole forward-facing setup comes down into my lap. Won't matter. I'm going to cut your live transducer wire in the morning. Please do. Just take some stress <laughs> off. Going into day one, you know, I caught some fish late in practice, up shallow on some plastics. Uh, kind of clued me into, man, maybe these fish aren't eating moving baits as much. Maybe there's more on beds uh, or getting in that mood where they want to be on beds than I think. I'm, I'm going to do both. You know, I'll probably start deep, um, start scoping some. But other than that, I'm a, you know, I'm going to go fish shallow as the day warms up. You know, I just got a feeling the big female is going to move in and, you know, hopefully they do. Um, but other than that, you know, I'll mix in a little scoping, but banking on the shallow bite. Yeah, I caught a really big one in one in one spot uh, to start practice off uh, one morning. I think if I can get to that cut, it's just a pinch point with some hydrilla and a little shell bed. Uh, I'm gonna try to start there and then just expand uh, in that creek, see if I can catch some fish shallow in bushes, and then I'm gonna run up the lake north, up above the bridge, and. Uh, fish some grass you know I think I have some fish spawning I just can't see them and uh, man I think I might go in there and catch a bunch of fish uh, just a little bit of time I spent there late in practice they were biting the challenges coming up to Toledo Bend is is finding those those four and a half to five plus pound bites um, you know my practice the way it's been going is I haven't seen many of them I think I got some areas that hold are holding some fish um, I just don't know exactly what kind of size I can have the potential to run into. So with, with that being said, it's just going to have to come up by the wayside. I'm going to hit those areas and hope for the best type of thing. <laughs> just finished up with tackle. Got my boy Austin in, in the shop down here to his grandpa's right. <clears throat> took me a little bit longer than I thought. I was bragging about not having to do much tackle and it took me like four hours so got everything tied on everything ready everything tightened up everything working charging good to go got the game plan now I can sit back and eat some think we're eating what are we eating crawfish jambalaya or something I don't crawfish know. stew crawfish hamburgers stew. hot dogs nice crawfish stew get some waters in us get a little hydration going a couple bush lights let the mind rest a little bit, get a game plan. It's gassing out of the south right now, you know, 25 miles an hour probably. But uh, 
nothing left to do but get a game plan and go fishing tomorrow. We're boat 82, last flight tomorrow, and then uh, the first flight the next day. So it's going to be good. Got a good game plan, changed up a lot on the tackle. Trying to fish ahead of what's been going on with the weather. We'll see where we're going to end up. Y'all stay tuned. We've got three GoPros going. Jesse's with Austin tomorrow on the water following us some. So it's going to be a good day. Feeling this morning, bud. Feeling good. I think we're gonna go. It's not blowing that bad. Feeling good. Just ready to get out there and get in a get in a routine. Start the season off strong. Figure something out. A lot of stuff's changing out there. So I'm ready to get out there and see if what I think is happening is happening. We're here. Day one, 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series, Alita Bend. Uh, boats are taking off behind us. The first boat just took off. We're boat 82 today, doing a 4.30. We've got a long day. The wind's blowing, but not really, really bad. It's blowing out of the southwest. It's gonna help. And we're gonna use this long day to, to look around. Uh, we're gonna hit two or three areas. Uh, hopefully these fish will hold up shallow, but I think they're coming. It's gonna be a great day. Y'all stay tuned. Day one, Toledo Bend, starting now. Kind of four pounders in here, it's gotta be patient. Every one I catch in practice, three and a half to four and a half, and 14 inches today, of course. A little bit bigger. There's 20 pounds swimming around my boat right now, it's gotta catch them. Getting bigger. This is brutal. I can't do this much longer, but I might have to expand pretty damn quick. Hopefully there's not 20 people over there flipping bushes. Thinking I better figure something out pretty dang quick, catch some fish. Think I'm gonna start in the Greek tomorrow on my scoping fish. Go hit that one spot one more time. Go to Patroon. I want to be right here. That's it. 60 degree water. Break the lens. I hook your big ass Yankee in the lake. I'm gonna flip about this, this little bitty pocket right here and I'm gonna go somewhere else. I ain't feeling it. Hey, you don't have to run out of here if you don't want to. You heard me, Jesse? Okay. 
I don't want him to tear his boat up for me being stupid running I'm not supposed to. There's one. <laughs> Can't believe I caught her. I figured I would have yanked it out of her mouth, you know? If I can just get 17, 18 pounds somehow out of here today, then tomorrow I can scope in the morning until I get comfortable and then figure out a game plan. You think I'd be smart enough to get out of here? Everybody's come in here and left but me. on the scale, I weighed them, and yeah. I caught one right at the end. Rolled up. I was dragging a weightless fluke, not catching shit. Five fish for Lee Livesey to start things off. 16 pounds and nine ounces. You got your work cut up for you again tomorrow. Good day today, but got to do it again tomorrow to stay inside that top 50. Yeah, obviously I don't know this place like Fork, but this is an amazing lake, and uh, hopefully I figure something out today and catch some fish. Forward to seeing you back here. I went to the juice twice today. I left, went all the way back to Indian Mounds, and then went back. I went first time, caught a four pounder. I said, oh my God, it's gonna go down. I said, then, like, I can see it, they're not there. I was like, I cannot stay here. Did, a, did all that, did all that, nothing. But like the juice, they weren't there. Yeah, you were feeling that for a bit. Shit, like first couple casts, I catch a 380. Missed one first cast, 380 next cast. Got a couple here and there, and then it went. <laughs> Patron screwed me. I pulled in there, didn't catch shit in the juice pond. Came around the corner where I caught the four in practice. Caught one, but it was keeper. And I saw Cobb was up there grinding shallow, and I was like, ooh, cruises in there. So what you got, Cobb? Is it two bass? Four and a half and a three and a half. I said, okay, I'm gonna do that. He said, but I caught him scoping. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> right? He weighed in three. No, he didn't. Mm, three for ten, something. One foot all day. Got one on the chicken shit rig today. Really? Caleb threw a bag in there. Like Randy Johnson threw a <laughs> fastball. <laughs> It would have straightened up. <laughs> hey, so you know, I threw a bag of his plastic back at him. <laughs> yeah, I, I threw it at him, not on his boat, so it didn't bust open. He goes. <laughs> he stiff arms it, and it just goes. It was just as bad as the twizzle. <laughs> Caleb, like, threw that ball, like Randy Johnson killed that bird. Like, wow. I was like, almost killed me. <laughs> Bad deal. It ain't worth taller. But it hit you in the head. Oh, it would have hit me in the head. <laughs> you should have been a pitcher, bro. Make a lot more money. Yeah, play it. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. What was your story today, Logan? Oh, banked on that full moon right there. Warm trend and caught the shit out of them. Just all the same size. 14, right under 15, right almost 15 pounds. And I don't know. Had a, fun, had a fun day. Caught a bunch of fish. Just no big ones. You know? Knowing they're going to catch them down south. Scope Bring five of them. I thought it'd be, you know, you can compete up here, but they never moved up yet. So maybe tomorrow. 
Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. You got fishing? <laughs> it's good. We had uh, 21 pounds even. I do not know where I'm going to catch a bass tomorrow, but it's Toledo Bend. They're catching the shit out of them. It's going to be a good day. We're going to catch them tomorrow, I think. Wind change directions. Curious to know what that's going to do for the fish, but uh, I got a few things up my sleeve. I'm going to keep the shallow stuff honest and. Uh, Hopefully they'll make the right decisions. Make it happen. Boom. <laughs> Full moon and everybody's going live scoping. Jesus. Full moon in February, 60 degrees, five in the morning, and we're going live scoping. And the water's in the 60s. <clears throat> Don't like that. Did a little bit of reorganizing in boats. I'm gonna go scoping this morning. First two or three, four hours. Play with the cool kids, see if we can catch bass out there. And then we'll go shallow for a couple hours and probably end up the day back here scoping the last hour or a half or so. That's it. I think we need to catch about 18 pounds to stay in it. Guys are going to catch them better today and bigger. Hopefully I'll catch 20 pounds and then go frogging or swim jigging so I can show y'all something cool. But we'll see. Pound and a half. Perfect. I never caught one on the bottom, Jesse. <laughs> Two pounder. Oh, it's tag. Bass cash back tag. No, I'm not registered anyway. I'll get I'll get like five hundred dollars for it. Yeah. Even if you're not registered, you get like a prize pack. Shallow water demons are kicking in real quick. Getting about all them bass up on the bank. Now I'm gonna do this till eleven and not get shit and have a whole day wasted. Never mind. I like scoping. Barely hooked. It's hooked like on the outside. It's weird. Yes. Mm. I needed that bad. Yeah, I need four more of those today. That was him. Two-pounder. That one was deep. I thought that was gonna be a big one here, so deep. A big one out there floating, Jesse. Get ready. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, please. Please, no, don't stop. I spotted bass wanna be right here for some reason. Grind right here, fish that over there and fish that point, and that's probably it. Help. He's so fat. I 
gonna need 18. Well, I'm gonna be pissed if I don't make the cut. and nine ounces yesterday. 17 pounds, three ounces with 33 pounds, 12 ounces. Lee Levesey moves into 11th place currently. Get loud, ladies and gentlemen. I hope, I hope that's enough uh, to go tomorrow, but like I said yesterday, I think she wants you. Do you want to say something? <laughs> I, think, I think she wants away from me, really. I'm gonna get her out the stage and go uh, put on some Whiskey Myers, jam a little uh, Whiskey Myers with some bush lights and hang out with my beautiful beautiful wife and stepdaughter over here and anybody else that showed up. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Bad day to be a bush light. <laughs> uh, we're still in 25th, but a lot of people haven't weighed in yet. So 26, 27, 28, 29. Should be in, should be in that 45 to 50 range. Caleb got in, I think, so doing good. Two for three is not bad. We'll see though, it's not over yet, you never know. I didn't weigh my fish, first time ever. And I was freaking out because I thought I had 11 pounds. I, I wish I would have weighed my fish, I would have calmed the hell down and caught my fifth one. What's up, Mike? Yeah. Yeah, I saw Caleb. I told him I had 11 pounds, I didn't know, I literally didn't. I went to the boat and weighed him before I walked up. No, I, walked, I weighed him before I went to line. No, I didn't. You know I tell you exactly what I got. He knew because he told me about right there, 14. It's not the first time he lied to me. When he got to you, it was 11 pounds, just yeah. to get a little buffer. No. <laughs> no, I, I went to the boat and weighed him before I brought it up there. That way I wasn't sweating in line. I wanted to know I was in or not. Give Lee one this. There's only two we got with us right now. I don't know. Gold. 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 Right there, like no, y'all, y'all ran a very aggressive line that I don't know if I would have ran. <laughs> <laughs> we still here, but I don't know how. Clearly, this show up for like 20 minutes. You realize the landmines oh. outside the buoy inside oh, that? Oh, line. dude said, I don't think you boys made it. And I said, Well, hell, I saw them behind me uh, at the bridge. And they rolled up, had the low unit all the way up, and they're like, Man, we hit something. I said, Oh shit, come on. <laughs> nothing i didn't i don't know what it was it had to be the wave the way i hit it because it was just like i felt it in the seat i'm like that don't feel right I, I, so i told jesse when we got there i was like there ain't nothing i can do about it now i said hey, we ain't taking on water i said we're just gonna send the door <coughs> the way back to cyprus <laughs> We made it, made the cut, first event of the year. Toledo Ben had 17 pounds yesterday. Day three, we're in 42nd, man. Uh, sky's the limit today. We need to move up that leaderboard. Gonna put that Minn Kota Ultra Quest down and cover a lot of water. Uh, burn those impulse lifting batteries up and just see what we can find. You know, a lot of new water out there. We're gonna look at tons of new water, cover a lot of water, see if we can catch a great big bag of Toledo Ben bass and, and make a move up that leaderboard. In what a field we have circled 103 anglers. Cut it down to 50 going into today, but after today, only the top 10 move on to Championship Sunday. Just gave up. Yeah, like they're really smart right now. I'm about to keep the bait way above them today. That's a big one, Jesse.
First one I've caught like that all week. Mm. That'll play. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That will do, pig. Look what's in his throat. See what's in his throat? Oh yeah, he's already got <laughs> Big old gizzard in his throat. All right, live scope is cool again. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be a spot or something little. He was too aggressive. It is a spot. It's a giant spot. <laughs> Look at that spot. <laughs> Pound and a half. Good. Even though I bet he weighs over two. There was like eight of them the same size. Little guy. They look huge because they're moving so fast, I guess. Yep. How many is that? Four? Four. And I know it can go right out there in 50 and catch them too. So it's leave your trolling motor down all day and just look at everything. It ain't like you. I mean, I'm sure there's a pattern and a rhyme and a reason, but. Dude, all of a sudden there's fish everywhere. I just saw like 10 different fish. I ain't going far or fast. I'm about to weigh these fish real quick. He was exactly six. So we got four one somethings and a six for 1380. I'm going to Blue Lake. We're going to weigh in 1380. Because <laughs> I'm not going live scoping again. Look at that, I forgot how to cast. I've been live scoping so long. There you go. That's the way to do it. Go, Lane, go. Hmm, I gotta go get a bag. Okay. I gotta weigh him in or I'm gonna have 1280 if one of them dies. Yeah, let's go. Wow, wow. I'm worried about her. Well, yeah, she's gonna get hot. Just finished up day three, Toledo Bend. Uh, weighed in, I don't even know what I weighed in, 13 something I think. Uh, should should be in the 40s somewhere I think. Uh, big bags getting caught, great week. Me and Caleb made the cut. Uh, amazing crowd, y'all see it in the video. This this place is awesome, a great fishery, huge crowd. It's a, it's a really cool place, I hope we come back here. Uh, there's a lot of fish, a lot of giant fish. Um, but that's a wrap on Toledo Bend. We made it work, you know, the shallow bite just went away this week and we made something work with nothing. Uh, so we can't be mad at that. Made our money, made our points. But tomorrow we uh, get up in the morning, do some live stuff with bass, do some tackle and head to Lake Fork. Gotta use my brain next week and, and decide what I think is the best option for me to try to win the event. So we can three-peat on Lake Fork. Uh, and if not, you know, make a check get our points and go on to the next one. But that's a wrap, Toledo Bend, day three. First event of the year was awesome. See y'all soon.